Well, here we are. Uh, another video from Unboxing with Marty. And here we're going to take a look at the recent release of Zoran OS 17.3. Actually, we're going to look at the Pro release. You, you pay for this release. Again, it's a choice that I made. You need to decide if you want to go with the Pro release or if you want to go with the free release. Uh, obviously, with the Pro release, you get some extras in there that just makes the experience, uh, well, more fun and more exciting. So, but... Uh, Let's get let's take a quick high level test drive of 17.3 Pro. So right now we opened up on the uh, the tour screen and uh, don't worry you can jump through here view the tour anytime you would like and you know what if it goes away if you lose it I'm going to show you real quick how to bring it back in case you want to find it. So just go down here go down to the search bar and type tour. Hit the enter key and there you go. So you can always come back and review the tour if you're interested. If, uh, spend a little time and let's take a look at some of the apps uh, let's go here we're gonna start at the very top uh, you've got accessories uh, we're gonna just run through here a little bit you get an idea of the accessories apps that you get files is always an important one it's a uh, common app that I use uh, like a file manager best way to describe it uh, let's see what else we got here let's go take a look at graphics so you got graphics there's quite a few here uh, I'm going to slide north and south here, up and down, just to give you an idea what you have available there. So let's pop out of there. Internet. Let's take a look. Now, check this out. This is something new. Uh, Brave Web Browser. All right. So Zorin, with the release of 17.3, has replaced uh, Firefox with the uh, Brave Web Browser. It's a choice they made. It's what comes with 17.3. Uh, I'm comfortable with it. I'm happy with it. Uh, if you have any thoughts or comments about the Brave web browser, always please put it in the comments section. I'd be curious to hear what you have to say. Uh, when you, uh, I'm always going to recommend that if you're exploring a new operating system, a distro, a Linux distro, always go to the homepage and get to know about, uh, get to know a little bit more about it. Here we are. We're on the Zorin homepage. Uh, good information here. Uh, again, if you wanted to uh, download it, you can click on the download. Now, we're just going to go through here. So here's the one we're looking at. We're looking at Zorin Pro. So you do pay for it, but there are other releases that are free. So you can always take a look at those. Uh, let's see. You want to go into Help. Help's a good place to go. Let's click into here. And I think what a lot of people are going to ask is, what are the minimal requirements for Zorin OS 17.3? Well, you can click right here and find out. All right, there you go. There's your minimum requirements. That's what you need to run Zorin OS 17.3. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Let's back out. Uh, another value is they give really good instruction to how to install Zorin OS onto your uh, hard drive. Uh, you just drill through here. You can follow through on the instructions. It's pretty simple to follow. Uh, you know, I think, you know, honestly, I think uh, Zorin OS was the first uh, distro that I used. Uh, that I installed to a hard drive a long time ago. I just followed the instructions they had on the web page. You know, I got through it. And, uh, take your time. Uh, let's see. Let's back out of here. Uh, let's just, uh, oh, you know what? I want to show you this. Something that's kind of interesting. Okay. On the on the uh, Brave web browser, you can see here, uh, you got the Zorin S shortcut here. Of course, if you wanted to edit it, well, let's, no, we don't want to do that. Let's, I didn't mean to do that. What we want to do is, we're going to try to edit it. Let's take a look. See, you can remove it if you wanted to, but the question is, how did it get there? Well, I'll tell you what. There's a default setting in here. Uh, top sites. Let's go in here, and you can see right here, it's set for frequently visited. So sites that you visit frequently, it's going to add them as a shortcut on the uh, homepage here. So uh, if you want to get rid of it, just click here, and it goes away. Look at that. It went away right there. Or you can... Click it back on, it's there. Change it to favorites, and here you have an option here where you can add your own favorites uh, as shortcuts to this uh, web page, uh, to this homepage. So, something to think about. I'm going to return it back the way it was, but uh, let's just close this out and let's take a look at what else we have here to look at. Uh, let's see. Office. Well, you know, if you watch some of my videos, you'll always know that one thing I always want with a distro is I want a word processor. Uh, so let's take a look. A common one is the LibreOffice Office Suites. So let's take a look. We're going to take a look at LibreOffice Writer. Runs really nice. 
runs really smooth. You're going to see it load up here. Something I always like to look for is the icons are easy to see. They're showing up. Uh, I think that's always important. Uh, I have run across one or, you know, there's been a, a circumstance in the past when I wasn't able to see the, the uh, icons here. There was a workaround, but uh, it's really kind of nice, you know, out of the box that uh, you can see the icons here and you don't have to take time trying to figure out how to make them visible. That being said, good on this one. Uh, Labor Office Writer looks good to go with the uh, Zorin OS 17.3. So let's close this out. And there are other apps in the Office Suite, but uh, again, we'll just uh, scroll up and down, north and south. You get an idea, but it has what you need to get started. Let's see what else you got. Sound and video. Let's slide this. We'll go up and down here. You get an idea of what's available. Nice. And let's go to System Tools. Let's take a look. Now, here's always something. Uh, software. This is your... Uh, App Store, this is where you go to get the apps that you want to add to your uh, distro. So a good place to go. For example, let's just hit search and we'll type in web browser. And soon you're going to get a list of web browsers you can add. Uh, you can go ahead and install them. It helps you out here, but it's nice to have it here. I'm going to go ahead and click here and go back. I'm going to close this out. Let's see what else we have here to look at. Uh, anything else in system tools we want to look at? Uh, let's see. Well, we're going to take a look at Zorn appearance a little bit later, so we'll get back to that. Uh, but let's continue. Let's see what else. You got utilities. Uh, let's see. You know, I just thought, well, there's your terminal. Of course, with Linux, you have terminal. There's your terminal, so you can just get a, a look at it. It's there. And let's see. You know what? I want to do this. I want to go back to system tools. And what I want to do is I want to go to settings because, you know, a really good question is, Marty, this laptop that you're using, it's an old Dell laptop, but you can see that. What's under the hood? Well, let's take a look. So it's a Dell Inspiron 3179. It's got four gigs of memory. You can see that. It's got a, a solid state drive of 120 gigabytes. You can see it's running an Intel Core M3 processor. Just gives you a little idea. And uh, let's see, and again, we're running Zorin OS 17.3 Pro. Nice, right? And uh, let's see what else we got. And that would do it for right now, just for a quick uh, glance on the apps. Let's go have a look at some more. Hold on. Okay, time to have a look at some more. Let's take a look at appearance. I told you we'd come back. Uh, let's take a look at this. Zorin appearance, yeah, you have it right here. Uh, we also saw it in here. Uh, I think it was under System Tools. Let's take a look. Uh, let me see here. Right here, Zorin Appearance, you can see it, but it's also here. And of course, if you're lost, type in Zorin Appear, and there you go. So you can bring it up. It's a really nice search bar, isn't it? Nice search tool, I mean. So let's take a look here. So this is Appearance, so you can change the format. Now, this is really nice. Uh, you, you, you get a number with a free release, but with... Uh, uh, the paid release, the pro release, you do get more here to select from. So uh, you can always scroll through. I'll just take a look at another one right here. And we're going to uh, switch it over. It kind of has the, uh, I'm going to say it kind of has the uh, uh, the Mac OS appearance. We can just take a look. We can slide back and forth. Look at I'm doing this by rolling the uh, scroll mount, the scroll wheel on the mouse. Uh, something here, of course, you have the firewall. Uh, you can always key in your password load the firewall if you wanted to. Uh, let's just try that for fun. And there's your firewall, and we'll just click it on. And there you go. Now we've got a firewall. Uh, what we're going to do, so again, you have all these appearances you can go through. We're going to come back. I want to show you something about that firewall. Let's just do that real quick right now. Uh, sometimes it's hard to find, but all you have to do, again, use your search tool your search bar here let's go in and say firewall and there you go and we can cancel because we've already had that uh let's take a look at themes you know what for themes i want to do something a little bit different let's do this let's open this up and i'm going to shrink this down let's stick that to the side and let's open up one more only because it's going to go somewhere eventually with this so let's take a look uh, let's see, themes, basically, uh, let's just change it to green here. 
you can see these go green. Just gives you an idea of what we're looking at here. Let's just change it to red. There you go. Yeah, just uh, a quick effect on here. Uh, let's see. We're going to bring this back. Let's go take a look at effects. This is a fun one. All right, let's see if we can get this to expand a little bit. All right, let's see if we can... Uh, let's just make it fit a little bit better so we can see it. Hold on. We're just going to put it like this so we can see it. But uh, let's go with the fact. Effects here, this is kind of fun. I've always enjoyed the jelly mode, so I don't know. See if you look here. Grab here and you can shake it around. That's standard, but let's go to jelly mode. It's kind of nice. I like that. Kind of smooth, right? So let's see what else we got here. Spatial uh, desktop. So uh, what we can do here, let's just we click here, down here. See where I'm going with the mouse here? Let's click. And you can see this. And you can, with the scroll, you know, with the scroll wheel on the mouse, go back and forth. You can navigate. So if you wanted to, let's just take this one. Let's just take, well, let's do this again. We're going to click here. Let's take files and slip it over here. Now you can see, notice you got these opening up here. So basically you have different workspaces here. Something to think about. And let's go back. And you know what you can do? You can either take this and drag it back over if you wanted to, or up here, drop it in there, click over here, and there you are. Now, just for fun, uh, a little background, hit the Alt tab. Let's see, you can bring the files. You can bring appearance up here get you an idea here. So now let's uh, take it another step. So let's go here. Now let's see what happens. See, now you get this 3D effect. You can click it with your mouse, you can drag it. So what we're going to do is let's drag this one. Uh, you know what, let's go again. I always like to keep the appearance on the primary page, just a choice. Let's see, here we go. So now we got this, so I'm going to just take this. You can go like this. You know, you can take your mouse and drag it, move it around. Kind of nice, right? I'm sorry, let's do this. Here we go. But we'll now let's bring this one over here so we have three. And hit the Alt tab again. We're going somewhere with this. Got it? So now let's go here. Change this right here. Now let's hit our Alt tab now. Now look at that. Kind of nice, right? Just another effect, but it's kind of fun to have. All right, so let's see what else we have here. Desktop. Let's see. Okay, so the desktop, if we wanted to, we can add the home. There you go. You can see the home right there. You can add the trash. There you go. You can do that. Mounted volume, uh, network servers. These are things you can add on here. So, like I said, click here. Files. It's right there. Let's go to the trash. Okay, you can see the trash. You get the idea. So I'll close this out. Now let's go back and do it again. There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. There you go. We're back. So let's see what else we have here. In Windows, this is kind of cool. Now this you got to look at close. All right. So we're going to take a look here. The title bar buttons, you can see right here. See where the buttons are right here, right up here. All right. Let's go left. Now they're over here. You got that? All right. That's kind of cool. But uh, I'm going to go back. And then you can always play with the interface, and you can always play with the, the fonts. But, uh, you know, for this uh, conversation, so we've, uh, this is what I'm going to dive into regarding the Zorn appearance. So let's see what else we have. Okay, what I want to look at next, I want to share with you is, let's do this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to change the background. Something very simple to do. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Displace to change the background right here. They got some nice wallpapers here. I kind of like this one here. It's kind of my favorite. See right there? Yeah. Let's close this out. So there you go. So that's the wallpaper. I kind of like that. And you, you, you know, uh, you know, you can pick your own, uh, color, you know, pick your own wallpaper, just whatever you want. But yes. So again, to go back, you know, we're going to go back and switch it back to the original just for fun. And there you go. Check this out, just uh, running it as a dual screen, kind of nice, right? And here's a real quick trick here. Uh, you hit that Windows key once, and again, hit that Windows key twice real fast. Check that out, there you go. Just a quick uh, little bonus trick there. 
All right, this is kind of exciting. Uh, this is the first time I've really had a chance to look at this. It's called uh, Zoron Connect. It's an app. I have it installed on this Android phone, and basically it's kind of like a remote control uh, for your Zoron uh, OS. So this is running, like I said, I'm running this on OS 17.3 Pro. So let's take a look. So you can see the mouse up there, the mouse pointer. So you can see me moving around. I can do that. So just for fun, let's just go down here and we'll tap here. We'll open it up and let's do a quick search. Let's see if we can do this. We're going to tap here and let's go over here, tap, and let's try to bring up a keyboard. All right, so type it. I'm going to go web browser. Fingers are, it's kind of a small keyboard for me, but let's see if I can make this work. How's that look? Yep, there you go. Got a list of web browsers there. Kind of nice, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the keyboard off. We're back. I'm going to go up here, take the mouse and uh, bring the point over here and tap, close it out. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to try to send a file. So let's give that a shot. I'm going to send this picture up there. You can see it says it's receiving. Now it's received. So now let's go back to remote input. I'm going to slide down here. Give me a minute. Actually, it won't take a minute. I just got to move down here. All right. And we're going to go take a look at downloads. There you go. Let's open up the file. There you go. You got a picture. Hey, it looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? So let's close this out. close this out. I'm just going to look at one more thing. Let's go back here. Let's go to run command. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and the videos on this channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. When you subscribe to this channel, you are helping this channel grow. Uh, likes are always good and comments are always good. And as always, thank you for watching and have a good day. And to close it out, I am going to go ahead and power off. Kind of nice, right?